Okay, we have a piece of uh, 2 inch 250 wall, 3 feet long, and we're going to try and bend this into a 180 on this Model 32. Uh, we used some bending software and determined that our mark should be 6 and 15 sixteenths from the end. Uh, obviously on a piece of black wall like this, a black mark isn't going to show up, so we put a little yellow paint on there and that's our mark. We're going to line that up with the edge of the die where we know we have to be. All right, what Austin's doing here is he's going to put a little uh, bending lube on the uh, follow die and smear that around. This is the most fun part of the job. It can't hurt. One of those deals where it's not necessary possibly with the, with the material that they use, but it sure can't hurt anything. So on this big heavy piece of tubing, we're going to use a little lube. Now we'll load the piece in. Alright, Austin's going to load that piece of tubing into the machine. Okay, uh, Austin's got the tubing in. He's going to put the little saddle on and drop it in there. Make sure that pins all the way down. Okay, Austin's going to set the handle now. He's going to take the insert out, flip it around and put it back in, affix it with the pin. And set the ratchet bar and pull the anti springback bar over we don't know how much springback this uh, two inch piece of tubing is going to need so we're just going to go 180 and uh, take it from there so now Austin's going to pull and bend this two inch 250 wall tubing <laughs> come on come on put your back into it son let's go don't yank it out of the floor come on what's the matter you can't bend that Come on. Austin works out on a daily basis, and he's probably the strongest man I know. So it's pretty obvious that uh, you, must have, you must not have gotten enough sleep last night. Okay, well, the verdict is we're not bending 250 wall by hand, huh? Okay, we know when to leave well enough alone, so obviously we're not going to bend this two inch pipe by hand. We don't have enough tubing to put an extension on long enough to, to get the leverage needed to do it. So we're going to have to go to hydraulics. Now in order to do that, we're going to take off the bending handle and we'll replace it with a hydraulic unit. Okay, I just want to take a minute here. We've, we've installed the hydraulic adapter block here. Uh, we had to disassemble the whole bender and take the dies out and everything because you basically have to lift the top plate off to install this. So you don't want to do that <clears throat> when it's all assembled. So if you do get the hydraulic adapter kit and you're going to go hydraulic to bend the really heavy tubing, then you want to disassemble your bender again so that you're working with much lighter and much less... Uh, of a tendency to have things fall on your foot or down on the floor and get damaged. So that's just a, a quick little hint there. Now we've got this installed. We're going to put in the, uh, the hydraulic ram. We're going to assemble this bender back together, put in our hydraulic ram, and we'll get back to work with bending this big, big piece of tubing. We got everything set back up. The hydraulics are in place. The die's been replaced. The tube is in where it's supposed to be. And Austin's going to turn on the hydraulics now. And here we go. We just make sure we got our pointer set at zero and we're ready to go. We're going to try and bend this. We're going to try and bend this 180 and see how we do. Let it go. Now, this is really incredible to see this tubing just bend like nothing. What I want to show here is this die lock pin and how it works. All right, back it off a little bit. And you can see, a little more, it actually grabs the die and prevents it from springing back. When you've got the hydraulics on, you lose your anti-spring back bar. So this is a way to uh, ensure that the tubing does not spring back and then you lose your, your position. All right, so we've repinned the bending arm, and we're at about 45 degrees now. So we're going to continue on.
And again, it's, it's really incredible the amount of power that this has. Stop. As that drops in is where you want to stop so that you can back off and then reposition your arm. Now on the second, second push, we got all the way up to 92 degrees. So you can do 90 degrees on this in uh, two sections. But we'll continue on now. When that pin drops in, you want to stop. There you go. All right, back off. And we'll repin. This is our third push, and we're at 141 degrees. We're going to see if we can't go right around to 180 now. One fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty. This is just really amazing that uh, we've got this massive piece of tubing bent 180 degrees in under three minutes on this machine. The, the power of this machine is really, really remarkable. And now we'll take this, hand that off there, and we should be able to knock this thing out with a, with a hammer. Oh, look at that. You don't even need to knock it out with a hammer. That's unbelievable. I've seen benders where you bend tubing not even this big. And there you go. 180 degrees, perfect 2 inch, 250 wall. Just astounding. Turn that thing over. Let's see that wall thickness. <laughs> this, is, this is an amazing, amazing machine.